Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the video. This, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is going to be my April wrap up. Now, this is going to be so much quicker than all of my other wrap ups because I read a little bit less than I have uh, in other months of this year. So this should be quick and easy. But first, we will just quickly jump into the stats. Uh, so. As I mentioned, I read seven books, which ended up being 3,569 pages, and my average star rating was a 4.12, and I'm looking over there because that's where the, like, stats are. For formats, I read three ebooks, two mixed, which just means multiple formats, and two physical. The audiences were three adult, one new adult, and three YA. And then the genres were two dark romance, two fantasy, one paranormal, one romance, and one sci-fi. So we'll jump right into the first book, which is Gilded by um, Marissa Meyer. And this, I gave three stars. This is basically a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. Um, and that's pretty much all I can describe. Yes, I read this and I gave it three stars, but I didn't comprehend that much of it and I almost DNF'd it. The only reason I didn't DNF it is because my friend Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction, um, I was on a live show with her talking about this book and she ultimately convinced me to stick it out to the end. And I do plan on reading the sequel because I did enjoy the characters in the second half of the book and the plot in the second half was good, but I didn't care about anything in the first half, which normally is why I, is why I wanted to DNF it, but then I was like, screw it, I'll push through it, and I did enjoy it, three stars. Um, as I said, I will be reading the sequel, which is Cursed. I will actually be starting that literally tonight as I'm filming this, so I'll be reading it as this is going up, but that was book one. The next book is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson, which is the third book in the Skyward series, which is a YA sci-fi series. In the first book, Skyward, we are following Spencer, who she basically lives on this planet that every so often gets attacked by these aliens that the people on the planet have named the, Kr the Krell. And basically, uh, because of these attacks, there ends up having to be basically like a flight group, a flight, flight crews that defend the planet. And Spencer really wants to be one. But unfortunately, her father ended up... Uh, deflecting a mission and getting killed which then kind of made it so that Spencer couldn't join the academy because of being a risk but she ends up finding a way to do it anyway and she becomes a pilot and this is the third book in the series so we are way off from that and this I also gave three stars because it felt very unnecessary and it felt like it I read the Skyward Flight novellas which were three novellas I feel like this could have just been a novella within that series, like within those books. It felt so drawn out and so unnecessary in some points that I genuinely do not remember anything from it, pretty much. And it was very much bland and just, it was, it was very bland and it lacked interest. Like I wasn't interested in anything, I honestly probably should have DNF'd it, but it, the ending was worth it and I am going to read the next book in the series because it is the final book in the series and that comes out I think later this year so I will be reading that but this one was just a three star for me. Next book is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark which, where, where in this we're basically following um, in kind of the Chicago underworld and we are following the Griffins and the Gallows and basically when Ada the youngest Gallows sibling ends up breaking into a party that the Griffins are hosting and setting fire to their um, like library. Uh, a, a, a long conversation ends up happening between the leaders and basically to kind of calm down their rivalry because there has been people lost on both sides for many generations. Um, ultimately, there ends up being an arranged marriage between Ada, who is the youngest Gallo sibling, and Callum, who is the oldest Griffin sibling and the heir. And it is an arranged marriage between the two of them. And it very much is hate to love. It is very spicy. It has amazing 
illustrations. I'm trying to find an illustration that I can find. Like, it has these illustrations in it throughout. There even is a couple that are, um, let's just say, I don't think YouTube would allow me to show them and not risk getting a strike on my channel. Um, but I love this. I give this five stars. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Like, it, I loved Ada and Callum so much. I'm so excited to continue the series, although... I really want to buy the the books as I read them but honestly I might have to say screw it and read them on Kindle Unlimited because I need to read them and continue the series so fucking bad. The next book is Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and this is the first book in the Devil's Night series which, which is a series of basically each book follows one of the guys in a friendship and their respective girls and in this book we are following Michael and Erica. Um, they grew up with each other um, Michael is three years old, three years older than Erica, but they grew up with each other their entire lives. And basically, after a event that happened three years prior that sent Michael's friends to prison, now we're three years later and him and his friends are wanting to get revenge on Erica for what happened. And so we're basically following three years in the past where this event slash night is happening and in the present day where Michael and his friends are trying to get revenge while also Michael ends up falling for Erica and it is dual point of view dual timelines and I give this five stars I loved it this was a reread for me I read this last April and now I'm reading it this April I I love Michael and Erica so much they are very much that like in some ways they are a friends to enemies to friends to lovers kind of although he's been in love with her for a long time um but I genuinely just love it I love everything that Penelope Douglas writes so of course I give this five stars and yet another book I loved and give five stars is Pucking Around by Emily Rath so if you watched my um March wrap up you would have heard about this book too because um I read it in March and then I reread it in April. Yeah. In my defense, the only reason I read this is because my best friend Morgan decided to pick it up and I was like, well, we have to buddy read it. Um, but this is a MMFM Why Choose Hockey Romance where basically we are following Rachel who ends up getting this fellowship opportunity with the Jacksonville Rays, which is the newest NHL expansion team. So basically she ends up moving to Jacksonville, Florida and um, ends up stumbling across Jake who was actually somebody a few months prior she had a hookup with in Seattle and she also meets Caleb who is the equipment manager and Jake's best friend and Ilmari who is the goalie for the team, well one of the goalies for the team and it basically is a, the four of their, them, like their story and Rachel falling for all three of the guys and Jake and Caleb working on their friendship turned more and I love this book so much. It's literally my favorite book of the year and probably top five books of all time. Honestly, I love every single second of it, which is obviously why I reread it because I, I loved it so much the first time that I had to reread it and I'm honestly sitting here going, can I reread it again even though I just read it like two weeks ago? I am obsessed with it. I will be buying a copy at some point when I'm not super fucking broke. So obviously I gave this five stars. I don't know if I mentioned that. The next book is The Vanishing by Carla Nicole, which is the second book in the Lo Lauren Lust series. And in this, and in the first book, uh, Lauren Lust, we basically were following Nino and Haruka. And they basically, um, they are vampires who, for some reason, I can't remember the exact reason, end up researching about this event called The Vanishing that happened where they basically end up researching about this event. I can't remember what the exact event is called, uh, where basically a shit ton of pure-blooded mated vampires kind of disappeared without a trace and they are trying to figure that out while also falling for each other. It's a lot more complicated than that but that is like the bare basics. And in this book, they have figured out about that event, have written a book, and 
now a evil vampire has come and stolen it and Nino. So it's them having to figure that out. Um, and I give this three stars. It is cute. I do really like the characters, but it's not blow away. It's one, it didn't blow me away. It's one that I will probably easily forget in like six months, a year time. So yeah, it just got a three star. And the final book I read in April was Court by Tracy Wolf, which um, I'm, I always I always have to describe this, but this is the fourth book in the Crave series. The Crave series is basically a YA paranormal series where we follow Grace, who after her parents pass away, she has to go to this boarding school in rural Alaska that is ran by her uncle. And basically there are paranormal creatures at this school and she doesn't know that when she gets there and it's her discovering this world, discovering herself while somebody's also out to get her. And uh, obviously I am a host of the Crave Along, so I will just leave a link to the live show that we did on Clint from Reads Readers channel. Um, so I'll link that up above and in the description um, where all my thoughts are talked about it there, but I gave this five stars. I love this series so much. So of course I gave it five stars. And that was what I read in April. Honestly, I fell into a bit of a reading slump in April. I also was trying to write a lot more so my writing kind of took up a bit of my reading time which is expected as well as life just happening so I read a bit less but I'm really hoping to pick up the pace for May for Witchathon. Um, but yeah let me know what is one book that you read in April. Uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!